Hello, this is Adrian, and I'm doing something that I don't know if I'm doing it right, wrong, I don't know. I, I'm trying to do something to help people. I There was a group I was in, and I got a bunch of requests. It's a week. They got the Freebie Fridays. I'm trying to do my Freebie Friday, okay? I'm trying to do my part. And um, I'm here at Alicia Hart Sales Group, which is where I, I had all the requests. But it's hard to get in here and help people. So I'm actually, I feel guilty for doing what I'm about to do. And I don't want anyone getting mad at me. But it's been a week and some of these people are not even interested anymore. So, uh, oh, oh someone, oh, I got a little flirter over here. So anyway, um, I'm going to start backwards because I know the people who most recently uh, requested are still most likely recently interested. Now, what is interesting to me is that um, uh, I've got, I see in front of my eyes within the last seven hours, two Scorpios and a Pisces. One, they're all water signs. Two, uh, we got two Pisces in there. And let me go back one, one more and see, like see the last, um, Oh yeah, and I've got just minutes, just minutes. There's minutes. So this is like an ever going, uh, well that's, oh, that's no one, that's no one. Mine is hours ago, cause that was another thing they were doing. I don't even know how you get them all done. How are they getting them all done? I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out how everyone's getting theirs done. Cause I have not figured out how to get that many people done at one time um, unless you're just doing it in a group con you know a group collective which I, I had attempted to do so I'm, I'm going back a little bit and I'm seeing uh, I'm gonna go back over the last day uh, not the whole day but let me see let me see how far back does this go well that's a lot okay so okay I can do the last day I think maybe we'll see so out of this last day, we're looking at one, two, Pisces, two Tauruses, a couple of Scorpios. I see a lot of Scorpios, a couple of Sagittarius and Capricorns. See, I and this is what I thought. I'm like, I think certain signs are being affected more than other signs. So one of the things I did at the group was I had put up the links to um, my YouTube uh for each of the signs I did, you know, I didn't know how else to get them all uploaded to, to cause I don't want to, I don't know how everyone does it at Alicia's group. I'm going to watch and see how they do massive um, requests like this. But, um, so what I'm going to do is just a, another collective. But uh, what I did earlier was I had did a, um, I had gotten a call when I first opened up that little chat. The reason why I couldn't get into it right away was I had gotten a call from my daughter and uh, she had a friend who's a Scorpio now I'm not gonna go into the details but I know that Scorpios are going through a little something something right now I think it has a lot to do with the the fact that um, you know the, the Sun is in Taurus there's things going on in Taurus and as a result I think that uh, a lot of Scorpios are being unduly affected this is the only way I know how to put it they're being affected and so um, there's there's been a lot of, uh, I think, concern amongst Scorpios because it's been so heavy. Some Scorpios are getting it really hard right now because there's a couple of planets in, in, uh, in Taurus. And um, so um, let's see. Uh, so, okay. So what I need to do here or what I'm going to do is go over the, the signs that I think most likely or need to help like now this week this friday right this today okay so the first sign I'm, i i am going to pick is going to be the sign of scorpio and the reason i'm doing that is because well uh scorpio obviously has been in a little something something and so i want to talk about that hi i actually have someone here who am i who am i talking to right now something happened it's the seventh can, can you hear me, Maria? Is that Maria? Hi. Hi, Maria. Hey, I'm glad I finally get to help someone while I'm on here because I'm like, I got like a half an hour to help somebody. So what kind of question do you have? 
I don't know. I, my future seems a little grim, and I just wanted to know what's what's in store for me. What sign are you, Maria? I'm Scorpio. I knew it. Okay, so you don't <laughs> notice. I'm recording this, and I'm gonna upload it to um. I'm gonna upload it to Alicia's group after I'm done. I was just going on and on and on about Scorpio. I was just about to read Scorpio. I kid you not. Okay, so that's divine spirit. Lord have mercy. I love it when that happens. Okay, so that's it. Let's. I'm gonna actually do a couple of things. What day in uh, are you born? Which day? Um, November 9th. Oh, wow. So you're going through some trials, right? Probably. Yes. Yeah. You know, there's, and maybe even battles. You might even have been feeling like you had to battle. But I'm going to tell you something. You are born on the 9th. That is vibrating to Sagittarius. That's, you're a fighter. You're a fighter. And uh, you know, whatever you're going through, it, you're being, I know you're supposed to be courageous right now supposed to be courageous right now it's hard yeah it is and I, i'm gonna tell you something it's gonna be a little bit harder even still i'm gonna tell you what i just told another scorpio earlier scorpios don't do anything major until after june 21st it's not going to be your time especially you because a nine vibrates to sag and we're going into gemini which is opposing sag so you're going to okay. feel a little bit more of that opposition until the 21st of June. But nobody better mess with you after June 21st, because then we're going into cancer season, and you're going to be much more powerful then. Much more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got someone else down here. Who is the, the bottom person? I, I know I've got Maria, and uh, there's they said uh, Sandy. Sandy, if you're a Scorpio, I swear I'll scream. <laughs> I swear we got another Scorpio in the room. I all scream. I'm going to do this reading for you, Maria, right now. And I'm actually pulling out some tarot cards. My favorite, okay. my favorite deck. Um, because they just meld in my hand. And I'm going to ask the Valiant Spirit if they're oh, and something popped right out. If, oh, if if there's a special message for Maria, and I kid you not, right away we got two cards. Wow. So we're going to see what else is going on here. Let's see what what else is going on. Maria, are you dealing are you, you dealing with a cancer or something like that? Is there cancer around? You? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pick yes. that up right away. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, you got a couple. Just, of I got goosebumps now. Yeah, you got a couple of cards wanting to come out here. That's it. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. Divine Spirit, lead me to the special message you have for Maria. Ooh, there's something that popped out. Right. Ooh, girl. Okay, let me see what's going down. Uh, 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 uh. I, okay, I get a little excited. <laughs> there with me. I do. I love. I love what I do. Okay, so let's see. Oh wow, and we got exactly the right amount of cards to do the spread I wanted. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. So let me tell you something, um, Maria. I don't, I don't know what you're going through, but your first card, the card that indicates you, you got. Oh, can you, wait. Let me make sure. Queen of Staffs. Queen of Staffs. I'm gonna put it here over here so you can see it in the video. Queen of Staffs. And you know, the, I love the Queen of Staffs. The Queen of Staffs is a very powerful female. So whatever you're going through, you've got fire inside of you. I, I swear that nine, that's your fire. That's your Sagittarius. I knew you were courageous the moment I look at you. You're a fighter. I don't know what's going on, but you're a fighter. And I think this has to do with um, maybe a relationship. And I think you're supposed to be fighting uh, for your relationship if you're in that. Because you got the two of cups. Two of cups. And if it's not, this shows that you can get a two of cups. Everybody wants a two of cups. That's where things are flowing in your relationship. You see what I mean? Emotional uh -huh. security. I love this. I'm putting it in this video so you can see it clearly. And then I'm going to show you so you can see it clearly. It's a couple. Uh -huh. That's a couple. So the thing is, there's that cancer though. The cancer is upside down. Reverse. I knew it was a problem with a cancer. I just knew we were dealing uh -huh. with something to do with a cancer. I knew it. Usually this is success if it comes out upright. But in this way, there's something going on with that cancer. I'm going to, hold on. Let me just clarify that reversal okay. um, with the, um, 
Just want to make sure I tell you exactly what you need to hear about that crazy chariot. <laughs> yes. Oh, so this is like, I don't know what you've been through, but this is saying that you might have a um, problem controlling yourself. This could be a, a emotionally, mentally, physically, physically, there might have been an argument, something. There could have been something mm -hmm. like that. It's about control, loss of control. Oh, but then you got the Wheel of Fortune. This tells me, I don't know what you're going through, but you got the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Like I said, you wait till June 21st. Whatever you're going through, you're going to get over it. You're going to win this battle. I, I haven't even seen the rest of the cards, but I know you. And then you got the Lovers. Girl, I don't know if this is about love, but if you got somebody, somebody messing around, then you're going to win. You got the tour coins next. This is telling me there's communication is going to come. You're going to hear from somebody. Most like, oh, oh, and if the kid, oh, Lord, oh, the kid, there's a Capricorn involved, too. There's the devil. The devil is involved. I don't know if the cancer is dealing somewhere. There might be a Capricorn involved. There could be some lies. There could be deceit. There could oh, be some deception here, but, and there also could be a Capricorn in the story, but I feel like with this, it's just about making sure that you don't, you know, someone might be going for control. This is someone that tried to control someone sometime. Okay. But, and I know you, someone's been worried. I think maybe you might've been worried over it. There might even have been some, some worry, some jealousy, some petty concerns, something going on like that. And you might have been even uh, hibernating or sitting back, waiting, just not making a decision on anything. Because I got the, the hermit next. But you know what? I'm going to tell you, Maria, it ends with the Ten of Cups. It ends with the Ten of Cups. Like, I don't, even if you've been waiting and, and trying to be patient and it seems like it's not working. So you've just been like, I don't know, like you seem sad when I first talked started talking to you yeah but it ends with the ten of cups the ten of cups is emotional fulfillment even if it's not with the cancer or capricorn or whatever this is still emotional fulfillment you've got that coming so i would look at avenues i'm going to do something i do sometimes i take these cards apart and then i can get a different message when i look at it a certain way it's kind of weird how that works but it does the funny thing is you got one one uh, face card one it was the queen of staffs which is definitely you it was your starting leading card so you are that queen of staffs you are that with that you know being born on the nine that's the sagittarius that's fire i think that queen of staff but here's the other thing is you got two cups of four uh, a four cups a two of cups a two of coins and a ten of cups i see emotional fulfillment in a relationship this is a relationship i see it even though you might have been worried, you might be waiting for communication. So let, another thing I do is I, I like to read the Major Arcana backwards because when I read them back, just the Major Arcana, it tells me a story. So, you know, there's been some uh, some some problems here with this chariot, with this can, this cancer uh, person that's coming in reverse. This could just be not being able to control yourself, your emotions, whatever it was. But I do see that you're on a personal journey, but success is possible, this Wheel of Fortune. When you get the Wheel of Fortune, I really believe that it tells me that there's possibility of success here, no matter what you're going through. And then you got the lovers. So if this is regarding a relationship, I really believe you, you can get through this. However, I believe there might've been some lies and deception because of the devil card. And because of that, there might have, you know, you might need to take some time and meditate, think it over. Don't make any fast decision. Don't do anything until the 21st of June because you're, you know, you're, you're Scorpio. So wait until <laughs> cancer season and then make your move. All right. Okay. That's my advice Thank to you. you. You're welcome. I'm glad I can help in some way. I hope it resonated in some way. Many Thank blessings you to you. Night. You too. Thank you, Maria. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey, Rachel, I see you down there. Um, hi. 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 Now, what, when's your birthday? What sign are you? Um, I'm a Capricorn. Are I'm you? A uh, December 31st. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, what, what year? 1977. 77. I'm trying to remember what animal that is. 
Snake? Snake. Is that the earth snake? I'm sorry? Is that the uh, earth earth snake or what? Yeah. Yeah. Earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So I, I uh, let's see, you're a four earth snake Capricorn player. You know, the thing about Capricorns, uh, especially Capricorn fours, you, you vibrate a little bit to uh, Aquarius. So I think you have probably some astrological abilities yourself, maybe even some psychic abilities because fours are very magical. And for Capricorn, I think you're probably a little magical. You might have had some uh, weird things happen in your life, though. Because fours usually have strange experiences, like abnormal, a little paranormal almost. Not quite normal. You might even have felt like you weren't always normal in some way. Because yeah. fours are unique, you know? Yes. Um, so that... I just want you to know if anyone ever or you ever felt like you were different or weird well you are different but you're not weird you're just able to tap into the universe in a very special way so i'm glad i met you at alicia's group <laughs> so this is what i've been doing um i've been doing quick little tarot reads for uh the people who show up and mm -hmm. i got i got time to do you so we're gonna do you real quick Awesome. So Thank divine you. spirit, please lead me to the message you have for was it Sandy? Your your uh, Rachel. Rachel, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Please lead me to the special message you have for Rachel. What is the message you would like to share with Rachel Divine Spirit? Show me clearly what you would like to share with Rachel. Show me clearly. Ooh, what is that? Special message we're sharing with Rachel. You had a couple of poppers, so there's a message in here for sure. Cool. Any other message for Rachel? Show me clearly. What is that special message? Oh, there we go. Okay, we've got a bunch of cards here. I know there's got to be a message here. So let's see. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to lay these out real quick. A couple of cards over which i like by the way but okay your main card oh i don't know what you've been through rachel i don't know if you've been through it or you're about to go through it and maybe it's a good thing you reached out so you'll know but the first card you got was temperance oh hold on let me just see something temperance i want to make sure you can see this temperance this is a card that shows that you need to have a little bit of patience it's a card of patience I mean, I love this card. I'm going to put it here so you can see it in the video because it, to me, it almost looks like she's drinking. <laughs> like the I temperance feel like card. patience is the story of my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. And I'm going to tell you why you have to have patience because you were crossed by the tower. So this could be either a Scorpio. Um, it could be um, an ending. Something that needs to stop. Like whatever it is. Like, Argh! put an end to it it's not mm -hmm. good for you whatever it is but usually it's the ending leads to a new beginning so i i just want you to know that whenever i see the tower some people get scared when they see the tower i'm like no it's going to be a new beginning for you because it's what's best for you and i believe mm -hmm. that because the next card you got was the three of staffs this to me is the, the card of courage it's telling you to be strong have courage. It's all going to be okay. It's happening for a reason. And this might even have something to do with money because you got the King of Coins next. The King of Coins is a, a actually a pretty powerful king, um, but it's money, it, yeah. And then you got the Seven of Coins. This is a lot of um, possible avenues to make money, but not even knowing exactly which one, like juggling, trying to do too much or hold them and not really getting any of it really done. But just feeling like I've got my hands in so many things and up, oh, but I'm not getting anywhere. That feeling, yeah. Then there's the mm -hmm. King of Swords. Um, the King of Swords sometimes when it shows up is kind of, I don't always like it when it shows up. Because it could be a negative male. It could be uh, a male talking bad about you maybe even. But it is a powerful male. Usually someone who is making an executive decision, quick decision, something like that. Oh, and mm -hmm. then you've got the Ace, the Eight of Cups next. Now, this could be success, um, but it also can be, it shows sometimes vanity. And I'm going to make sure I clarify, because I always get this Eight of Cups. There's a message in here. 
Yeah, it does rule it, born against vanity, inappropriate behavior. Maybe that's maybe that's the message. Remember to give. Remember to give. Uh, maintain humility, and it may be a time to move on and start new plans. That's what it is. I was trying to figure out, okay. um, you know, because this is a vanity thing. It's one of those things where we know we might need to move on, or we know it's not right, but our vanity or our pride keeps us stuck to it because we don't mm -hmm. you know it's one of those things and then you got this uh the six of coins next which is it's i gotta call this the give to get card <laughs> like the more you mm -hmm. give the more you get so if it's about love the more you give the more you get if it's about money the more you give the more you get like put it in any any um situation and then you got the full this is saying to go out on a limb to take a chance like if you've been holding back because of maybe fear or especially of the unknown. I just keep getting that vibe. Like maybe you, there's a fear of the unknown going on. Um, it seems go out on a limb, take a chance. Why not? And it ends with the page of coins. I, you know, this is not the final card, but it is the final card of the main reading the page of coins. And uh -huh. this is a card uh -huh. of um, like learning. Um, it could just be that you are um, maybe a, uh, Someone attractive and young and debonair and smart coming. I don't know. But a lot of times it's just communication. You're getting a message from somewhere, something like that. And I, I, I see here that you're also being told to hold on to what you have. Like this is really, hold. this is four coins. So if you, a lot of people are doing that now in the courting, you know, they're, they're making, they're stocking up, but you're mm -hmm. being told to really do that. Um, hold up, stash up on stuff. But whatever it is you're going through, whatever made you come here today, I just want you to know your final card was a ten of coins. You're another one. You've got the potential for emotional fulfillment, whether it's in a family, a relationship, a personal life. Like, I love this card. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I'm going to show it yeah. to you here. This card mm -hmm. is amazing because it shows the man, the woman, they're intertwined almost. They got the kid, the dog. It's like the happy life, the happy life. And um, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm praying that that is what's coming your way after putting up with whatever it is you've, you've dealt with. Now, I'm separating these because I, I like to do this. Sometimes I get hidden messages that I didn't see before. And I know you had a preponderance of number cards more so than no aces either. Just notice that. And you have no repeating cards, but what you do have is the Ten of Coins. And you have be to have courage and to hold on with what you have and lots of possibilities. You had two kings, a king of coins, the king of swords, and the page of coins. The only thing that concerns me is the, the king of swords. Sometimes that can even be a boss that's talking bad behind your back. That That's another thing the king of mm -hmm. swords can be. But the king of coins is money, so it's good. Um, I'm going to read these backwards. You only got three major arcana, and I like to read them backwards because it tells me a story when I do it. But um, be patient. Okay. Be patient. Uh, wait. Because, you know, something is ending. And it's mm -hmm. either falling apart or it's ending or it has ended. It might be a Scorpio. And after it ends, this is going to be a time for a new beginning. Take a chance and start again. Mm -hmm. Go out on a limb, you know. So that, I don't know if, what that message was. If it resonated with you, you know, as a Capricorn. I myself am a Capricorn. And um, okay. we've, we've got a lot going on right now because it's Taurus season. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. I think spiritually we've got a lot going on and... Uh, things of that nature so you know i hope that resonated well, with thank you, you so thank much you for, for reading out. i really appreciate it no problem and i hope you take a, a moment to go and subscribe to my blog i got astrology a look inside so that's one of the things i have too so many yes, blessings okay. thanks so much my pleasure my pleasure you have a good one <laughs> let's see it's almost uh six o'clock so i'm gonna be getting out of here any moment I, it's weird though. We had a Scorpio and we had a Capricorn and I was going to do the Scorpio reading, but maybe I'll 
I'll do a general now unless someone comes in. Because you got, you know, the thing about this room is that it's not very private while we're in here because it's a, it's, it's a, a, you know, it's a, a chat room. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And, and uh, if anyone comes in, they come in. I'm just going to ask if there's any special message for the sign of uh, Scorpio. I just feel like of all the signs, I saw Capricorns. There were a lot of Capricorns, but it was uh, basically Scorpio that was uh, requesting. So I feel like it's Scorpio that has the special message that they need to get. And I, in fact, what made it uh, hard for me to even get here tonight was because I was uh, doing a special impromptu meet, uh, reading for a Scorpio. And they were going through something. So I have a feeling a lot of Scorpios are going through similar things. So let me uh, see if I got enough cards here to do this quick, quick reading. Because I got about eight minutes before my appointment. Let's see here. And I'm recording this. I don't know what it's going to look like. But I figured I'd do it both at the same time. And that way, whatever I miss or anyone miss, they'll see what I do. And they'll understand how it all goes down. So the first card... And I'm gonna about I'm gonna shut out the actual um, live chat right now, you guys, because I don't want to get caught in the live chat and then uh, not be able to finish. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm I'm gonna rate the live chat a five. It was interesting. So the the card that you got was um, a page of staffs, page of staffs, and this page of staffs is a card that indicates that well communication is definitely coming, um, and um, also, the page of staffs is a confident, arrogant, and tailored male. Confident, arrogant, and tailored male. He's devoted, well-educated, uh, head for business, a good person, but he can be e egotistical. He could be uh, bring you some important news, so listen to it. It could be just be a truthful person coming to you with that news. And I really believe that because you were crossed by the emperor. You know, Scorpio, this is telling me whatever you're going through, whatever information you're getting, whatever communication is coming from this arrogant male, this tailored male, whatever that is, if it's you even, but just know that you're a leader. You got the emperor that crossed you. This tells me if you're not a leader, that it's time for you to lead, to stand up for yourself, to be strong, to be, um, you know, make a decision, to be dictatorial even, to be the boss. You're the boss. No one's the boss of you. Yes. And then you got the three of staffs. This is saying have courage. Stand on your own two feet. Don't let nobody take advantage of you. And then you got the four of staffs because you got emotional fulfillment coming. Oh my goodness. You can be happy. You can have a happy family, a happy with everything.